concept of tolerance. I wanted to go around the world and talk to kids of school age to get a sense of what are the seeds of intolerance. The day after the September 11 attacks, we had this um, Arabic girl at our school and she was, she was Pakistani, like she wasn't even from a nation that was related to the incident. And um, three different kids called her a terrorist on that day. One of the, the, the major rehiring themes was a desire to make oneself feel better. There's a necessity to squash anyone else that might cause you to notice that you're not as good or as talented as you'd like to believe you are. What do you think is the reason people would say things that, that are cruel? And I suppose they're afraid of responsibility. Uh, for example, if they help me, they will be responsible for me. Because I'm disabled, mm -hmm. there are some situations I can observe. Uh, for example, bad comments like you are a cripple, mm -hmm. pointing me, staring at me, etc. Et Dear girl, like, if you look Asian, they call you Chinese. How much do you think is conscious when someone is doing something to hurt someone? Actually, I think everybody knows about it. Mm. Mm -hmm. They choose to act unconscious. It's my grandma who always talked about the Indonesian. And I'm just a kid and I just stand by and listen to her and the neighbors. I just sit there and I kind of like got this main vision of that. Indonesians are really weird people in mm -hmm. our country. Mm -hmm. They are not supposed to be here. What we try to do is if you create a tolerant home, then hopefully your children will go out and desire a tolerant classroom, and then they'll desire a tolerant workplace, and then they'll desire a tolerant neighborhood and a tolerant city and country. Do you guys have any personal experiences? Yeah, yeah. In these situations, uh, how often is it one person that's getting picked on? In a group, it's easier to pick on someone because you have it coming from all different directions. Mm -hmm. But like with one person, can do the same damage as a group. So. Right. I think fear is the main, the main reason. your opinion that people aren't necessarily born with specific rights. What he's saying is that mm -hmm. there's a lot of women to be being, being raped throughout the, the, the civil war. Mm -hmm. Family members, there's there's women that are being impregnated by men that were infected with, 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 with diseases. And those women, they don't know their rights. Mm -hmm. And they don't mm -hmm. even know that people actually do have rights. My biggest hope is to for people to be able to recognize the seeds. So by the time you get to Darfur, you've had 5,000 opportunities to prevent it. One of my hopes with, with this project is that it just wakes up dialogue and, and uh, people will be able to recognize the situation in a grade school classroom right before it gets to the, the streets of uh, a republic. Shine.